It's me, Maya March, and I, of course, you know, I'm back with another one. So, I did part my hair down in the middle a little bit, and I'm going to show you. This is freshly washed hair. And what do I put? I just put, like, a leave-in conditioner, I guess the Miel or something. Miel. Hold on. Okay, I think it's Miel, Miel. I don't know. This is what I use. It's a okay leave-in. Um, I already bought it, so why not use it? Um, this is my hair. So this is how we sorting out. So what I'm going to do is probably do those free parts or whatever, um, and then kind of do better parts in the front, cause that's where it really matters. Okay, so just so y'all don't not believe me. Okay, 3.16 in the motherfucking morning. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm using my uh, Curly Curl Cream. I'm putting it on my roots. Um, it's not as thick as it usually be. Not my hair, but the Curly Curl Cream. I don't know if they didn't change the formula, formula or what. And then I got my Shine and Jam um, thing, Magic Fingers. Okay. I'm taking a little amount of that. And then we're placing that right on like the roots, I guess. I'm taking my little brush. So we brush that down. We got it nice and smooth. You see that silk? Okay. So now we um we just start braiding. From the braid, you just put your crochet needle in. And then I took two pieces of Morally. Now the whole head is just one piece, but now that I'm getting to the front, my hair is a little thinner, so I'm making it two pieces or a piece and a half. That's up to you to like determine, because I'm not making them super big, but um, in the back, I only use one piece of Morally hair per braid. So then, we're gonna level it off. Okay. And we just braid down. It goes a little past my boobs. Bitches can't find it, man, cause they write it good. Okay, so I got two um two locks left, and I'm gonna show y'all exactly how we achieve this whole look. So let's do the last two locks together. So you just take one piece because that's how you save on time and the money. Well, money, and you just pull it apart. I like to get it as messy as possible and um, you just pull it okay then you take your um, crochet needle okay and then you put it in And then you see the, the whole piece? We just gonna take this in. Put it on that loop. Close, pull it through. 
Okay. Now, with this little end, we're gonna pull it up some more because we really only need it to be like a little piece to wrap around and then we're gonna start wrapping. So now we wrap the base. Okay, and that's just all you do and you just keep wrapping it. So I'm not gonna wrap it all the way like that. I'm gonna add my thumb in too. Can y'all see that thumb? And then I'm gonna wrap it. Let the thumb go and wrap it again. Okay. And then when you're trying to get fancy, you just pull the thumb in the middle of a piece and then you wrap it, let the thumb go, and then you just keep wrapping. And that's kind of how you're gonna get that little, see, hold on, I gotta get it close. That's how you're gonna get that little butterfly a lot. Um, butterfly effect. Okay, so now when you wanna feed in her, okay, so I just got to the end. Uh, all you do is the same thing. You take that one piece, you grab it, you see this? You pull this her, this little end piece, put it behind, where it, where it ended, so it stopped right here. We're gonna put it behind, and we're just gonna wrap it. I wrap it a little bit over on where the where it ended, and then just keep going down. And then you don't gotta do it like all nice and fancy. Do it loose. I don't even. I don't do it tight. The tighter you get it. Um, I don't know, I just like it a little looser because I like my locks to be a little bit thicker and then it gives you that little rough look a little bit more or like more of a natural look um, and instead of being all units and like, you know. And you just keep going down. Okay, sweetheart. And I'll show you uh, how to close the ends off. Okay, so as we get into the bottom, you just keep going, wrapping it, right? And you could do it two ways. You could either flip your hair up this way and then wrap it around, but I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm actually just gonna make it real tight. I'm gonna pull it real tight and then I'm gonna wrap it where I'm like kind of creating like a strong base down there and then I'm gonna wrap it up. And then I guess I can show you the other way too. And I wasn't using glue at first, but because they are longer, I find myself needing to use glue. So uh, with this, you just take a this. and we are cutting it. So that's how your ends gonna look. And then even with that being said, I'm still gonna put some super glue on it just cause I feel like I need super glue. So, you just need a couple of dabs. I'll put it at the end to lock that in. And a little bit up here, right here, in between this part, yeah. Okay. 
and then we just got one more to okay do. we are all done and the only reason why now i'm gonna show y'all how to do my edges is because y'all i this hairstyle i've been working on for over a week y'all probably don't know that but um so my edges is not as fresh as they was when I first did them or whatever, but that's okay. We finna lay these edges down and we finna go ahead and get out of here. So I'm finna do the Eco Styler Gel and the Creamy, uh, I said Creamy, and the Curly Curl Cream. Girl, ooh, that's just my favorite thing. We using the Cream of Nature Edge Tamer and Eco Styler. So with that being said, you just grab your baby hair brush Okay, you grab some of that edge control and you start pasting it down. And don't tell me I need a new baby hair brush because no, the older it gets, the better it is on her, which you say, here he is. Um, there we go. And then let me get a little this. period and then you take some of that gel it like solidifies it somehow i don't know but you put the gel over the baby the um over the edge control and kind of do your little swoops and bangs a little bit more And there you have it, you know. There you have it, okay? You can't tell me nothing now. Pow, look at that baby hair. Look at this side. Some people like natural edges. So there's a natural edge. And then this is my baby hair edge. I like my baby hair edge because that's just me personally. But ain't nothing wrong with the natural edge either. So once again, you see that little rough part? We laying that down. Okay. I'm having my way today. I'm laying that part down as well. Period. I'm not gonna overdo it. Okay. And then we grab this, uh, the Eco Styler Gel again, and we just go over it again. And then let it go for this. Let it go down. And we are done, you guys. After 18 hours. Now I'm just playing, but um, let me. I need to scoot back. 